here and welcome back to another one of my videos here in sunny Spain again. Uh, we've had a few days of rain but today's glorious so I've took the opportunity to test out my uh, my new meter, my an anometer, uh, to see what kind of airflow we're getting over a lamb through a lamb uh, flywheel cowling and across our cylinder. I mean, I could do more more tests, maybe underneath, so how much is escaping from the exhaust. But we'll just try and keep it simple today. Uh, I've got a couple of motors and a couple of flywheel covers to to try out. Uh, let's see what results we get. Let's have a look. Right, we're just going to try and set up a little bit here for our first test. Move that cowl in. Right, so we've got the, the anemometer right in front of the fan. It has got a direction, but we're going to cheat on it. Because it's supposed to be blowing this way, but it reads both directions. So we'll just turn it on. Uh, some light. And then what we're going to set it on is max revolutions. I think he's going to start this, he's about to batter my uh, meter. I think we'll get it running first. We've got it more or less as it's supposed to be. So then we'll set it for max, maximum, and that will record our maximum airspeed. And we're doing it in uh, meters per second. So we're going to record in meters per second. We'll get the bike running first. Okay, so now we have a max reading on here, if I can see on the camera, if you can see that, I don't know whether it's bright enough, but it's 75 meters per second, 7.5 sorry, 7.5 meters per second airflow with the, with the BGM flywheel and one of my covers on. So we'll now do another test with a standard cover on it.
good enough. And this is the max. I've pretty well got the same kind of revs. We'll still tell on the video. I haven't got a rev counter on here, so it's not exact. But the difference is absolutely huge, actually. So we're now on 4.9 <laughs> meters per second. So that's a huge difference. Huge difference. So we're going to go and test another flywheel now. And we're going to test the, uh, the vape uh, and see what that can do. the vape. Obviously the engine's different, I'm not sure where the revs are the same, but uh, let's see what we got. Okay, we've got two points. Uh, 6.2 That's not so bad So I think we should retest the other one again so this one was kind of a dismal failure even though I thought it could actually have the effect of having a higher velocity when this was up towards it it might be cheating a bit because of the fins here increasing the velocity and maybe putting more but it, this wasn't it's actually an obstruction and it's the reading where I thought it would be. That's an obstruction and that's slowing your airflow down. And we've got now proof that it's correct. Because they've just got less fins, they're wide and low, and they're even angled towards the middle, so it makes them even less efficient. Uh, I think it's pitiful. Surely, when you design something to be a performance item, it should actually improve the airflow, not decrease it. Okay, that should be tight enough for a test. Right, here we go again.
loop. So the BGM flywheel flows better than the uh, bait. So BGM is more or less very similar to the standard item, so I would think that the, uh, well, let's turn the engine off. Okay, so um, BGM, which is based on the standard configuration of flywheel, is, is winning hands down as the best airflow of all of them so far that I've tested. So we've got uh, the vape has got lower fins, but they are wider. They've made wider fins. But lower, lower towards, so, but that's then seems to reduce the airflow, whereas your deeper fins seem to increase much more the airflow. So, plenty of fins and deeper. So, BGM and your standard air, air flow wheel would be the best to use at the moment. So, there's not much in it. We're going from, I think it was 6.2 on the vape and 7.2 on the BGM with my covers on, but down to a dismal 5. Point, I don't know where it was now, I can't remember. I'll see on the video, 5. Point something um, on the standard cover. So your standard cover is not doing very well. So this is an improvement of something like about probably almost 30%. I'd have to calculate it. Calculator, let's go. Right, um, we've done a lot of testing on the uh, flywheels. Well, I didn't have all flywheels because it would mean changing status and all that thing. And I haven't got time to test every single system that anybody's doing. So I've just gone for the ones that I had on bikes at this present moment. And we could see the difference in the, uh, in the flow. Uh, that people that leave the center in their in their cover are looking at about between 25 and 30 percent less airflow over their motor not good so uh, at the end of this video thanks everybody for watching hope you enjoyed it another bit on cooling in Spain <laughs> where it's bloody hot don't forget to subscribe. See you later.